what's going on guys it's on the arc and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about some of the biggest problems facing modern warfare right now now i have about five bullet points that i want to talk about in this video things that i really think are threatening the the playability of modern warfare in the long term and a lot of these things are fixable and addressable and these are more gonna be just criticisms of the way that the game is right now um, I wanted to postpone making a video like this for a couple of days that way I could really get you know a lot of playtime in and get a lot of unlocks and test a lot of different things out before I conclude that it is in fact the way the game is made rather than just my lack of skill or lack of awareness or inability to do something before i jump right into it guys make sure you just drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new around here and click that bell so that way you tell the youtube algorithm that you are interested in more of my content now again i don't want you guys to think that i'm hating on the game because i really want to love this game i i even said in my my review for the multiplayer that i recommend getting the game it feels like a very very good game and it's so close to being like a great call of duty and there's just a couple of things that I think really need to be fixed and are driving the community insane. The first one that I was having the most trouble with was the spawn system. Uh, the spawn system for virtually every game mode right now is it's not completely broken but it it's not logical it's it's not logical in that um let's talk about tdm for example i might throw up a gameplay of on this video that's intentionally bad so you can understand the the issue that i'm talking about because this is common this is a common thing so if you see the gameplay is garbage it's on piccadilly that's why because i want to explain to you guys what is so frustrating about the tdm spawn system and that is that it literally doesn't flip and this depends on the on the map but if we're talking about tdm on piccadilly you can be spawn trapped and the spawn system will never flip you they just will it will never change no matter how many times you die close to your spawn point no matter how how many times you die off of spawn it doesn't matter what happens the spawns literally never flip and this is mega frustrating because this game really promotes camping playing defensively and you know there's a fast time to kill the shotguns are really powerful uh, it there's a lot of reasons why not only is the spawn system bad but it's made worse by the way that the game is actually built in that you know all the reasons that i just mentioned this is very similar in free for all where i won't keep spawning in the same spot but i'll spawn very close to the person that just killed me and i know that this is pretty common for call of duty games in the past but again in this game it feels like the time to kill is just so fast and it no matter how many times you spawn die spawn die spawn die they keep putting you back in the same exact situation and it just gets very frustrating because there's nothing that the players can actually do about that i mean the game is literally built to do that that's how the spawn system is coded so it's not like you can improve on that it's not like you are not good at playing the game there's nothing you can do when something like that is out of your control and it's so important when it comes to being able to survive a gunfight right if you just spawn in and die there's nothing that you can do about that and i mentioned in my multiplayer review um ground war and that issue persists in ground war you can literally watch people spawn and kill them as it's happening and it continues to spawn the rest of their team in that same spot and it, it just doesn't make any sense like i don't see you know obviously the game is new it's only been a couple of days old they're still collecting data and fixing things as we go and they uh, you know infinity ward is addressing the issues of the community but i just don't see how this made how this how the way the spawn system is right now how did it make it to the to the final game like it did you know i know that the spawns of the beta were bad and this is i guess an improvement but um it just to me is like this is the worst that it's been in a very long time in, in many years so i don't understand how they let this happen because it, it really especially in tdm like that's gonna be the biggest game mode like how do you mess that up like that's it's insane the next issue that i have with this game is that the enemies don't show up on the mini map when they're firing their weapon and this does a lot to the way that the maps flow now a lot of people are talking about how much they hate the maps and how little flow there is with the maps and i'll get to that later um but one of the causes of this is that we don't see when enemies are shooting on the mini map like you can have a gun unsuppressed firing and it doesn't ever show up nothing ever shows up on the mini map and this 
this causes a lot of issues because you know when you spawn in you don't really know what direction you're supposed to be going like yeah you could go towards your teammates but you might have been the outlier spawn and now you're just running back to your team's regular spawn and you're not going to run into anybody so then you realize okay that's dumb you got to turn around you go the other way and you know it's just it causes way more chaos than there needs to be in the match it causes you know on bigger maps what it does is it causes you to spend a really long time just running around doing nothing which is not fun and bad gameplay uh and in other instances you know you just die to the back or you die to some random thing that you know you should have known because that guy's sitting in the in the window with an lmg mowing people down it's like how is he not on the minimap that makes no sense that that information would be logically available to anybody in that scenario so not only does it mess up the flow of the map and how people people are playing on these maps um it makes it more difficult to play objectives as well and also it makes the suppressors useless they put a bunch of different suppressors in the game and no one's using any of them because why would you suppress a gun when there's no point like yeah the gun's quieter but the whole game is so loud it doesn't matter and who cares that the muzzle flash is there it, it barely affects gameplay anyway so you know it just it's kind of annoying because it's like you put suppressors in the game for no reason right that was just a waste of your time it was a waste of the development of them the art like you, you could have saved thousands of dollars if you were going to do it this way so make suppressors useful and put put the enemy gunfire on the minimap like this is this is a basic thing that call of duty players are used to and you know it's a classic if it's not broke don't fix it why would they like i don't understand the logic behind this but i really feel like this would help with the map flow and it would make suppressors useful and players would actually have more information when it comes to where should they move where should they go right where are the campers where are the enemies the third thing i want to talk about is the headshot multiplier and i really this was one that was kind of controversial for me i wanted to really wait a couple of days before i voiced my opinion on this because you know headshot multipliers in the past you know if there's not a headshot multiplier or it's a multiplier that's not meaningful at all it feels you know kind of cheesy when you know you're trying to get kills or you're trying to get headshots for a camo for example and you're losing most of your gunfights because you're aiming for the head which is a smaller target you should be rewarded for hitting that target by getting one less bullet to kill or whatever the case is but you know i understand that logic but it definitely feels like the headshot multiplier needs to be reduced at this point um i don't really know maybe the the headshot multiplier should vary by gun to gun you know the more powerful guns should have it nerfed because really what's happening is you know the idea is that you should be rewarded for getting a headshot right that's the idea behind a multiplier um is that you hit a smaller target you should get that kill because of that accuracy but what's happening is actually the opposite uh and that bad players are the ones getting the headshots because they don't know how to control the recoil so the recoil just goes all over the place and they just get headshots because it's just you know it floats up towards the head area and the multiplier is so high that it registers as a kill instead of another hit marker um and really that just causes randomness in the game and that's not not something that anybody likes right nobody wants to randomly lose a gunfight people want to lose gunfights because they got into an engagement that they should have gotten into and they lost um, but what's happening is that even if you pre-aim pre-fire shoot first get the first hit marker you're still losing the gunfight because they turn around and just melt they just swing around hip firing towards your head and they get the kill just by luck and you know i've done this to, to enemy players too and it just feels cheesy it feels cheap it's like wow i how did i wait what how did i win that gunfight like because you get a headshot and you know if you look at the kill feed you're gonna see tons of headshots and it's not because players just got better at shooting people in the head it's just because the multiplier is so high that it instantly kills people so again i don't want these to be nerfed across the board because i do think there should be some incentive to sh you know be better at aiming at the head especially if you're going for camos but for some guns certainly it, it has to be nerfed like it has to be it's it's just way too frustrating it it's um it, like I said, you don't want randomness in a game where people are trying to be competitive because at that point, it's just a dice roll on whether or not you win a gun streak and nobody wants to be out of control of winning, right? Like if that were the case, they would just play a slot machine. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the net code. And I feel like people aren't talking about this, which is really confusing me. Maybe people just don't realize that this is actually an issue, but infinity ward on the 25th, on the day that the game came out, posted a video explaining the net code for modern warfare. And I thought it was actually a really good video because they explained, you know, what the net code is, what, what its function is and how they built the code for the game to be a bit flexible so they can tweak it later, which is really good news because I, I'm here to tell you that it it needs to be looked at it's really bad so essentially what i'm talking about you know the, the term netcode gets thrown around a lot and you know what it actually is is how the servers are programmed to handle 
inputs and outputs of player data so you know you moving around the map that information is a constant stream sent to the to the server and that server is collecting all the other streams of data from all the other players in the game and this is how everything is synced up properly that's the server's job is to do this um so the issue with the netcode that that i and myself and tons of other people are having right now is that people are instantly killing you like they're you're dying in in frames just one or two frames right and you know this isn't a uh, time to kill issue this isn't a connection issue right my connection is hardwired i have 100 upload 100 download i have an eight millisecond ping like my connection is as good as you can get right realistically of course it could get better but in terms of what we're doing like it doesn't really make that much of a difference if i went from 100 to 200 right it's not going to affect gameplay that much especially with a low ping regardless you understand the point my connection is good all the time it's always good and the issue is that what's happening is the the way that the netcode works is that it's showing you an estimate of what it thinks is happening and to some extent it has to do this right because not everyone has a flawless connection and sometimes the cpu in the server gets overwhelmed because there's a lot of players online or whatever the case is right there's a million variables to this which is why it's hard to get down so i understand why this would be an issue um but players are instantly dying in one to two frames because what you're seeing on the screen is not what's actually happening in game and you know this happening once in a while is expected right it's an online multiplayer game things happen in milliseconds fractions of a second and you know not everything is going to be perfect all the time but the problem with modern warfare is that it's imperfect most of the time and that might sound like a, a little bit harsh um but i'm always instantly dying and it's either because of this the code issue how the server's handling the data or from the headshot multiplier which we just talked about um but whether well, no matter what it is um uh, dying in one to two frames no exaggeration by the way that's not like me being like edgy like that's actually how quick it is um it, it makes the game again unplayable right it's not fun it's you you think that you're have you have a chance at winning this gunfight when you really don't because the outcome of the gunfight was decided before you even reacted right and that's why i say you die in two frames because when i see an enemy and i immediately go to aim down sights my I'm, my gun's not even halfway up before i'm dead right and there's no gun in the game that kills you in how well, however, however many frames it is to go from gun at your side to gun halfway up how many frames is that it's not that many right it's only a couple and so the fact that you die instantly in that time means that it, it has nothing to do with the game the way that the game itself is programmed or my skill as a player or the enemy skill as a as a shooter whatever the case is it's that the the way that the server is handling the data it's it's it something needs to be tweaked there right because it's everyone is instantly killing me and and it's not my connection and it's not just me right it's not just me i live in new york city major city again my it's not the connection and if this is going to be the issue i would rather there just not be dedicated servers because if we do a peer-to-peer -peer network i'm probably going to be host because i live in a big city with a great connection and at least i'll have host advantage right like that's the whole point of a server is that no one has host advantage that that's why they exist everyone the server kind of dictates how the game plays um but you know like i said if everybody's experiencing instant deaths then the server's not doing a good job anyway you might as well just revert back to how it was in modern warfare modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 just give us that system back until you figure out how to make the servers better and like i said this is good news because they did build the server code to be tweaked and make it flexible and so they can change this um but i don't see enough people talking about it which is the problem so that's why i wanted to put this in the video this is probably actually the biggest problem that i'm having with the game um and i don't know if this is correlated or whatever but uh my hit detection is also really bad in this game and some people aren't really having that issue but when i'm live streaming and people are watching me sniping and things like that they're like oh my god like how did that not register like it, it doesn't make any sense you know so um this isn't just a bias or a personal opinion or whatever like there's actually I'm, I'm experiencing hit detection issues that are verified by other people um who are watching my streams and things like that so you know there's there's the netcode issue and then i don't know if hit detection is is a, as big of a problem because not everyone is, is complaining about that fine i'll take their word for it maybe it's just me or a handful of people i don't know um but i have a feeling that it might be related to the to the code as well because right like if if i think i should be hitting them but really i'm not because they're somewhere else that has to do with how the server's handling the data so that's another thing i don't want to just interject in there and finally let's talk about the maps right let's talk about the maps for modern warfare now personally the way the maps are designed i don't actually mind them um again you know 
people have been saying for years they don't like the three lane maps they get boring etc and i agree with that and now we have maps that aren't three lanes and i i understand that these maps are going to be harder to traverse they're going to have less flow and it's going to take longer to learn them i understand all of those things right so i'm okay with the way that the maps are designed for the most part but there definitely are a lot of nooks and crannies in the game that feel out of place right like if there's a a powerpoint over a certain part of the map and it doesn't make sense in tdm and then you jump into domination and you say oh well you know that's where b flag is like of course that that power position makes sense now right but there's a lot of positions and little holes and places to crouch and you know it it's it's very weird some of the spots where you die from in this game because they're in the middle of nowhere they're not a power position in any game mode that i've played um and it just feels very weird right why would that be there and the this issue is made worse by a lot of other little factors that kind of compound and make this a multivariate issue where yes the maps do have a lot of small areas small spots people can hide um the the maps are a lot of spots on maps are very dark right like corners are dark and things like that um which makes this even worse because now not only is it a small little corner that you're hiding in and it's random on some random ish part of the map um but it's also very dark so now you can't see them and also claymores are mega powerful which you know i do agree that claymores are very powerful but eod as a first perk is a must and there's not that many other good first perks so like you don't really have an excuse not to be running it but at the same time you know if we look at modern for two claymores were broken there as well like you run into a claim where you die and there's really not that much you could do about it in modern warfare 2. um so you know when we look at that everyone loves modern warfare 2 and it had the same issue but no one talks about it in modern warfare 2 but now that this is a new game we're talking about it it's like you know that's you know be careful what you wish for basically is what we're learning here but um i do think that clay workers are a little bit overpowered um they they should be i think they should be nerfed slightly like i don't want them to, to kill the claymore right i don't want to see it dead but i do want to see it nerfed a little bit to where you know maybe the the explosion time like the the time between the tick and the explosion maybe raise that by like a couple of milliseconds right so that way i can at least get around like a wall you know what i mean like if i if someone plants a claymore on the other side of a closed door and i creak that door open slightly too far i die no and you and like i knew it was there because that's why i'm creaking the door but anyway um yeah so the claymores make the maps even worse because they're so powerful and guns some of the guns are way too good to like half of the shotguns are mega powerful like they're so good and the first shotgun that you get is good as well it's just a little bit more inconsistent um but you know you, the fact that you can sit in a tiny tiny small corner somewhere off in the middle of nowhere and no one can see you because it's dark and you have a mega powerful shotgun and also all the doors have claymores in front of them like how is that a fun experience right like how is that a fun experience and you can yes you can blame the maps um but it's more than just the maps i think there's other things that infinity ward can do besides just go in and rework the maps and totally change the maps because you know like i said i want to see the other things the actual problems changed first before we say okay now what do we do about the maps right maybe block off a couple of random little corners here and there things like that um but you know for the most part i do think that i i am in agree uh, will agree with the community that some of the maps do need to be looked at um there are some issues with powerpoints and things like that but you know everything else on this list makes the maps exponentially more frustrating than they need to be right the spawn systems being broken mega powerful shotguns mega powerful claymores the net code making you instantly die the headshot multiplier making you instantly die like these are the things that make it frustrating and when you're trying to learn a complex map with all sorts of nooks and crannies you're kind of frozen you spawn in and you don't want to move you're like wait wait i'm gonna die and you have to stay there and you stay there for 30 seconds and you confirm okay no one's around and then you walk two feet and you get and you die like so that's what's frustrating about the maps um and i think that the things in this video can be fixed which is why i'm making this video hopefully um enough people will watch this and and click the like button shameless plug and comment down below telling me what you think about these issues because you know i want to love modern warfare it's a fun game the campaign's incredible i've played about halfway through it at this point um and <clears throat> you know the guns look amazing the creative class system is really really good probably one of the best we've had in a long time 
um kill streaks are good like there's a, a ton to love about this game but these are very frustrating things they're very frustrating and they benefit nobody right it's not like they benefit worse players or or players with bad connection like it's just these are just all around bad it's just a bad design for a lot of these things so hopefully they're fixed soon but like i said guys comment down below telling me what you think about what we've talked about in this video what did i miss should i have mentioned something else um with that being said all of my social media links are in the description below if you want to come follow me on there and and talk and we have a discord as well also link in the description if you want to come and talk to me share some memes and maybe join in on a game or two um, we can play together on call of duty and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace